Okay, now everything is starting to taste the same at this point. <laughs> this much is coffee, this much is sugar. Really? Oh my God. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jimmy. This is my wife, Genesis. Genesis. <laughs> that was a weird intro. Uh, anyway, so today I wanted to do a blind taste test slash ranking of instant coffee by Asian companies. These are the ones that I found at the store and the ones that I know about the most. If there are other ones that you guys know about, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, so before we get started, like and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. Okay, so. What are we doing? We're gonna have my wife, well, she's gonna make the coffee and, and, she's, pour. and we're gonna have them spread out here and then I'm just gonna blind taste them because I don't know which one she's gonna put in where. And so I'll just sip and then rank them based on how I like them. Let's see, what, what should we do based on uh, a category or what was the ranking? Criteria, ranking uh. criteria. Let's say, let's say taste. Um, if it tastes like, like how coffee should taste. Let's do taste Maybe for sure. Maybe it just taste like coffee. Mm -hmm. More coffee than sugar. Yeah. I mean, if you've had instant coffee, you know what they taste like. Um, so I want to do based on taste and how I, I'm going to rank it. That's the criteria. If it tastes like coffee. Or if it just tastes too watered down. So we'll just do it that way. Most like coffee, least like coffee. All right, let's do it. And by power of movie magic. Bam. Bam. So we have a wide range of mugs here because there's only two of us and there's no need to have four matching mugs. This one is my mug, of course, because there's a corgi. This one I it was a gift from my wife. Yeah, I gave it to him. I don't remember for what. What was this for? I don't know, maybe Valentine's Day or Christmas? One of those holiday stuff. Remember. And then this is the one that I got for her. You didn't get that for me. I got you one of these. Um, uh, not this one. Was it that big one? Yeah. The big one that you don't use? Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, well, wait, wait, we wait. have a couple yeah. of Frida mugs. Yeah, so. I have a lot of Frida stuff. This is one of them, mm -hmm. but I didn't get this apparently. All right, let's 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 get into it. You can sit here if you want. You don't have to. I don't, I don't want to. All right, you can leave then. I'll sit behind the camera and watch your reaction. Cool. Okay, bye. So we got a wide variety of brands. We got or not brands, but um, well, brands and also Asian origin. So this one, I, Cafe A Blendy. This is the Japanese one, right? Yeah. Oh shit. So this is the Japanese one. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show this camera here. Age, AGF Blendy Cafe Latori. I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. So. Um, so I've had all these already and I kind of forgot what this one tastes like, but I think this one was pretty good. Uh, and then we got a Vietnamese one. Boom. Boom. This one is, I, I would say is personally my favorite because I've had this before and my dad drinks this stuff. So yeah, I, I like this one. So this, you can't go wrong with this one. It's not too sugary and it's not like too coffee. Is that word? It's a good balance. It's a good balance. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty similar to uh, what Vietnamese coffee would taste like, but not as like super strong. All right, and then we got a Korean one, the Maxime. Maxime. So this one, if I remember correctly, is light in taste and it's also like really like sweet. Yeah, this one was like super sweet and like light. I think they have different like levels of that one, don't they? Yeah. Like yeah, maybe. Like I grabbed like the most, uh, I guess, common one. There are other versions of this one. I just grabbed the most common one. So if you've had the other kinds of the Maxine that you like, please let me know. And then this one, I think it's, I forgot what this one. Oh, there's another Korean one, I think. Yeah. This one is another Korean one, this French. Cafe. I think that's the brand. I don't remember what this one tastes like. So I guess this taste test will go well. I was worried that I'm gonna remember what all of these taste like. 
uh, Kopiko. So this one is an Indonesian brand, Kopiko. Shout outs to my Indonesian friends. I've had, the, there's a candy version of this. Have you seen those? So there's candy versions of this at like the Asian store and I've had it before and it's, it's pretty good. I didn't know they made like an actual coffee, which I guess that was kind of dumb on my part because there should have been coffee first and then candy, right? Um, so this one I think was also a pretty good balance. And I think this one to me, if I rank it right now based on my memory, it would be like a close second behind the G7. Yeah, let's get into it. I don't know which one's which. My wife does, so let's let's see if I rank this correctly. So in my personal ranking, I would go like this. Uh, let's see, two. Can you see that in the frame? Is that better? Okay. So two. Let's say one. This one definitely last. I don't remember, so I'm gonna put that there. And then this one, we can put that there. Yeah, so this is my ranking right now before tasting. Okay, let's get to the Freedom Mug. Let's see what's in this. Oh, and I put eight ounce of water, eight ounces of water in all of them just to have a even playing field for everybody. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Yeah, yes, please. Thank you. Okay, this tastes light to me, so I'm gonna put this one at the end here. So I think this one is the Maxime one, uh, that red package one, so I'm just gonna put that at the end there. This smells I can't, I don't know how to describe coffee smells anymore. Ooh, that's like really milky. It's like, it's really creamy, not milky. Okay, I think I remember the Japanese one being really creamy. So I'm gonna put that one uh, third. Yeah, so that's right there. Oh, I need to cleanse my palate. Uh, let's do this one. So that I put it back in the ranking. Can't really smell this coffee. That's that's kind of like one of the problems with some of these. Like you can't really smell it after you make it. Like the smell is not as strong. This one is also pretty light, so I think this one might be like this one. So I'm gonna put this one here. That one to me tastes like the least amount of coffee. And then it's between these two. Let's see which one I get. Doesn't smell familiar. Okay, now everything is starting to taste the same at this point. <laughs> Now this tastes really light. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna move this one. I'm gonna try the Frida again. Yeah, that definitely tastes lighter than Frida. And now I'm all confused. So I'm gonna put this right here until I taste this one and then maybe I'll be able to figure it out. I think the only one I'm super sure about is this one, which is that coffee. This one, I have no clue, because again, it tastes light. I don't know. This is hard. I thought this would be easy. Let me try this one again. Okay, now this tastes sweeter the second time. I guess it doesn't help that I don't remember what any of these taste like. So, okay, I'm gonna do this 
This one's gonna go here. This one's gonna go here. Was this how it was set up earlier? No. Oh, okay. Okay, this one's gonna go here. I think this is the correct setup. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm gonna say this is my final answer. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> really? Yeah, what, what, what? was I wrong? Was Actually, I right? I think you might be right. Should I sit down? Yes, come sit down. Come sit down and share with the rest I of the people. Actually. Oh my gosh, you actually got it all right. Really? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, That's so, so funny. The G7 was in the Frida mug. The Cafe La Torre was in the Corgi mug. Yeah. Um, the Maxim was in the blue. The French Cafe was in the small white. And the Copico was in the large white. Oh, that's hilarious. This is not scripted, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. So I, yeah, I figured that once you tasted these, mm -hmm. you were going to be able to figure out these ones. Because, mm -hmm. like, between these, like, the and the first ones over here and the last ones over here, it's, like, a really different taste. Yeah, for sure. I can definitely taste that. And this one, I was honestly surprised that you didn't notice maybe, like, the... What, like the foam on there because uh -huh. instantly as soon as I mix this one it gives it like that latte look that foaminess mm. so I think that's what makes it creamy I think this one was like the easiest one to figure out which one it was look wise yeah I guess you can say that I mean here I'll show you guys in the camera if you can see this here I'll just tilt this down it looks kind of foamy like it's supposed to be like latte mm -hmm. and I think that's what they um that's what they advertised it as. But to me, like whenever I make the coffee, like I said, I didn't really smell it or taste or look at it as as closely. So I didn't really pay attention to that. It definitely tastes more creamier for sure. Yeah. So that was that was the easy part. But these ones, if I just taste them on their own and then like went back and forth, it was uh yeah, it was hard. But yeah, I can tell the lightest taste and it just like, I usually drink like dark coffee and like just straight up yeah. black coffee. And so I know what dark tastes like. And um, yeah, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I was really surprised. <laughs> At first you were so off and I was like, when, as soon as like you put this one down here, I was like, you should know, what, <laughs> you should like at least have some vague memory of what that tastes like. Since it's been a while. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. So it's been like maybe, a month or two now yeah. since we've had like instant coffee because you know yeah. we got the breville thanks baby for that you're welcome you watched that video uh so i got that and been making coffee with that instead of instant coffee and um so yeah i i, can't, I totally forgot what all these taste like and to be honest i'm a little like heartbroken what <laughs> that the that the korean ones are i think honestly um there might be too much water in these because i've seen how they do it in the dramas and it's like very little water it's like maybe like a shot or something like that mm. but um but yeah i was surprised to also see in the packaging like once you pour it out that there's oh, a lot so more sugar, sugar <laughs> than coffee and in these two i feel like there's a pretty good mix um of the sugar mm -hmm. the cream and the coffee yeah one of our friends who are Koreans and they told us that like there's a trick to doing this. <laughs> Apparently, if there was like an if I if there was an X-ray of this, this is how it would look. This much is coffee, this much is sugar. So if you want to, this is what he told me. If you want to have more of a strong tasting coffee, you pinch it, or you, you can kind of hear it. You pinch it where like the sugar is supposed to be, and then you pour that out or you mix a couple packs together. So you you pour all the coffee in one pack out and then you pour uh, a, a mixture of like another pack in. So then that's how you get like a stronger taste in coffee. There's a hack for you if you haven't known that already. You know, I maybe will have to try the other Maxime flavor ones, but uh, yeah, this one to me, it wasn't like super, super strong in coffee taste. I mean, it could be good for some people out there who are 
mm, not really into the flavor or coffee flavor. I, I don't know really know how to describe that, but um, it just tastes like watered down coffee pretty much. That's the best way I can describe it. So yeah, if you like that, this is definitely good for you. Um, but if you want like a stronger tasting type coffee, I would go further down this route. I would like to know if there's any more that maybe your viewers oh, yeah. have tried that sound good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys have any other recommendations of other brands or types of instant coffee, I know there's a Starbucks one, but I just wanted to do like a Asian one today. Um, but you know, if you want to tell me about other brands, I, I'll try like I make a video about those too. Uh, just let me know in the comments. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on all the social medias. I don't, I'm not very active on Twitter. I like to go on there to look at gossip, but I don't really tweet. Um, but uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, like and subscribe to my channel. That will really help me out. All right, guys, thank you. Peace out, everybody. Bye. Have a good day. Before we go, I hope they all fit. Oh yeah, they're all gonna fit in here. Yeah. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> so much caffeine, at what time is it? <laughs> oh, good thing it's still early, kinda. This is like the graveyard of coffee. Let's, instant coffee, let's try it. You know, that's not bad. That, uh, maybe I should mix this actually. Let me grab a spoon. <laughs> Yeah, taste some of them, mm. but yeah, yeah, it's not sweet. Is definitely one of the tastes, mm. but um, the coffee taste isn't as prominent anymore. Mm. So I don't know if that's because there's, it tastes there's more just... like the coffee candies. Mm, yeah, <laughs> well, something like that. Some of those are even stronger tasting than this. Yeah, that's true. Well, there you have it. That's it. That's how it would taste. It just kind of tastes like watered down coffee with them all combined. Or sugar, water, and a tiny bit of coffee. Yeah. All right. That's it. Cool. Peace. <laughs> Subscribe.